If you believe what you read, since the recession started to bite, we've been hell-bent on getting things for free, from pilfering and self-service checkouts to the huge rise in shoplifters. Even rich celebrity chefs are at it. And who can forget the 2011 riots, the biggest shoplifting spree in history. But I believe we're essentially a decent lot, so let's put it to the test. We've set up hidden cameras to monitor a shop we've invented for an epic experiment. So may I present to you the Honesty Store. It's a convenience shop filled with all the essential bits and pieces and treats if you're a bit peckish. However, this shop has no staff whatsoever. We're trusting you to put the correct amount of change in the till. Well, it's more of a hole than a till, but you know what I mean. The shelves are stocked, the doors are open, and the shop staff, well, of course, they don't exist. And before long, the first curious shoppers venture in. No way. There's no one in there. <laughs> That's insane. No staff. No one is. These guys really can't get their heads around it. I'm not sure it's a shop. Ah. We are a number. Excuse me. It's not that tricky, gents. You make a mistake. <laughs> I think the kids need to come over a visit for citizenship. The team might need to bring your class in. They got all good stuff in there. They got some good shit in there. And the store's good shit is causing a bit of a stir on Twitter, too. Looks like some of you are actually starting to buy things. But are you paying the right amount? Well, we can tell with our highly advanced piece of counting equipment called the Transaction Index Monitor, or TIM for short. Actually, it's just a young man called Tim who's hidden inside the box to count the money. The good news is that most of you were impeccably honest, leaving exactly the right change in the honesty box. Well done, sir. Thank you, madam. Come again. There was even a celebrity shopper. EastEnders star Ricky Grover, and yes, he paid the correct price of 50p for his peanuts. But not everyone was as honest as Ricky. But apart from some shortchanging, the results were amazing. 98% of shoppers paid the correct amount of money. In fact, across the whole day, the shop was only shortchanged by £3.55. I knew it. People of Britain, you're not just gorgeous to look at and scintillating company, you're also capable of being honest, even when you think you're not being watched. I'd like to think that the majority of people would have put the correct amount of money in the hole as I did. I think you still need someone to monitor it. I think complete honesty is a bit much. I thought I'd slip in, get some nuts. As soon as I go in there, I tumble, there's no one behind the ramp. And a big trouble did go through my mind. I thought, how much am I going to put in the, in the little circle? But I was honest. So, I mean, I'm, I'm well pleased. <laughs> 